Ladies and gentlemen, what it comes down to is this. It doesn't matter how much money you have. If you don't spend it to prep up now, what good is that money going to do you that you have in the bank, that you have under your bed, that you have in a safe somewhere? If you can't get what you need, when what's happening around us today intensifies and gets worse. Hello, YouTubers. Alaska Prepper here. Well, I am headed to an undisclosed location right now, but I thought I'd have a little talk with you all. I've been doing a lot of reading on what's going on in Lebanon. I've watched a few videos of people that are actually living there now and what they're going through. And someone came up with a really good question. And that was, how do you get what's not available? Because you see right now in Lebanon, things are so bad as far as shortages go, be it fuel, be it just everyday items that it doesn't matter how much money you have it doesn't matter if you're rich it doesn't matter if you have seven digits in your bank account it just doesn't matter because you cannot get the things that you need so my question is this do you think that things can ever get that bad here like they are in Lebanon look at what happened during that fuel line or fuel pipe crisis here with that fuel pipe that extended from from Texas I believe it was to the East Coast when it went down it got hacked and it went down for a few days look at what people were doing some people even got caught on camera filling up grocery bags with gasoline because they were so afraid that they would not be able to get gasoline for an extended period of time. So I want you to ask yourself this question. What am I going to do if I just can't get it? What are you going to do if you just cannot, no matter how much money you have, if you just cannot get gasoline, if you just cannot get heating fuel for your home, if someone in your house gets ill, and you just can't get that over-the-counter medication to help them get better. Or even worse, what happens when the hospitals have to shut down because they have no fuel available to run the hospital? What happens then? What happens when 911 goes down? Do you really think that that could not happen here? And if you think that that could never happen here and you use that as a reason not to prepare, then okay, good for you. You made your decision and you will have to live with the consequences of the decisions that you make because you belong to you and no one can make you do anything you don't want to do. Well, hopefully. So think about it, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you, and I'm not a financial advisor, <laughs> But for those of you that have a whole bunch of money in the bank and love seeing those digits on a screen, what do you think that money is going to get you in the next few years when the government continues to pump inflation into the monetary system or into the financial system, whichever one you want to use? What is gonna to happen to that money? And even if that money grows, some people may say, well, AP, I can just put my money in the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ or the Dow or whatever, or even Bitcoin. I can just put my money in Bitcoin and it'll grow exponentially. But will the things that you need be there when you need them, no matter how much money you have? That's the question, ladies and gentlemen. It's important that you prepare now I was thinking of all of the real life items in the last year or so that have really gone up high in price. And uh, it was just a mental exercise when I drove out of my driveway this morning, but I came up with a lot of things. Let's go ahead and start with my favorite. But a year ago, ribeye was roughly $13.99, something like that. 
And you all saw through one of my previous videos that it got as high as $19.99. So it went from $14 to $20 a pound. And I just noticed when I went to Costco here not too long ago that it had fallen down to $17.99. So it fell down 20%, $2. But it's still $4 a pound more than it was a year ago. Even though it just went down, it's still $4 a pound more than a year ago. That's that's about 30%. I was thinking that this time last year, gasoline was less than $2. It was like $1.75, $1.90, depending on where you get it. And today, gasoline is sitting at anywhere between $3.60 to $3.80, depending on where you get it here. That in itself, right there, is about a one dollar a gallon increase that's about a 40 45 percent increase in the price of gasoline heating fuel last year at this time heating fuel if you got it yourself you were paying about a dollar 95 per gallon for heating fuel and today it's about two dollars and sixty cents or so you see these lights here they have these lights all over the place where it says prepare to stop that way once you get here, you have enough time to stop before the light turns red. I think that's pretty cool. A lot of people don't really have those, but the reason they have it here is just because in the winter time, the roads are so slick that those lights, they go ahead and, and meter those lights to if you're going the speed limit and you see that light turn on, it gives you enough distance between that light and the red light for you to be able to stop safely and not have to slam on your brakes. I thought I'd throw that in there. I'm not sure if I've ever explained that before. But that's heating fuel, ladies and gentlemen. So you're looking at an increase of roughly 50%, almost 40% on heating fuel. Propane, if you got it yourself last year, propane, you can go to the gas station and fill it up for about $2.99 a gallon. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it was $3.99 to fill it up yourself. If you hunt around, if you look around, you could probably get it for $3.60, $3.70, but around $3.99 on average. That's a 30% increase. Everything is going up, ladies and gentlemen. And we are still lucky because we can still get those things that we need. But ask yourselves, what are you going to do when you just can't get it, no matter how much money you have? So the time to prepare, ladies and gentlemen, is now. The time to get those things that you need is now. I can't say this enough. I'm gonna to continue to shout it out of the top of my lungs. Wake up and see what's going on around you. Last year at Costco, around this time last year, a 50 pound bag of long grain rice was around $21. And I remember talking about it because it had gone up from like $19 to $21. And I was like, wow, that's, you know, that's almost a 10% increase or so. And if you can find it today, ladies and gentlemen, in the last couple of times that I've been at Costco, they didn't have any regular long grain rice in the 25 or 50 pound bags. But when you can find it, it is now $28. That's a 30% increase for long grain rice. And I still think even at that price, it's a good deal because you're getting 84,000 calories in a 50 pound bag for $27. What is it that hasn't gone up? It seems that the things that maybe haven't gone up as much are the things that we really don't need to live. Look at the price of a car. Last year at this time, a car, the average car in the US, I think on average, okay, we know that you can go out and buy an $80,000 car if you want. But on average last year, the average car in the US, I think was like $32,000. Today, $37,000. Has your income kept up with the increase in prices of everything that's going up? I would say probably that for most Americans, no, it has not kept up with the increase in prices. So what are you waiting for, ladies and gentlemen? Rent is gonna go up dramatically. Rent is gonna go up dramatically because all of these landlords are going to try to recoup all of the losses that they had in the last year, year and a half, where they were having all of those moratoriums. 
So ladies and gentlemen, things are not going to get better. You have to prepare. I remember about a year, year and a half ago, I had someone comment on one of my videos and the comment was something like, do you really think that things are that bad? Don't you think that they're, they're a little bit better now than they were before? And I'm like, no, they are that bad and I think they'll get worse. And then he replied on there saying, I'm gonna go ahead and catalog this video with this comment so that I can come back and comment a year ago. Kind of like implying that he was gonna come back a year after he left that comment and my reply to prove to me that things are getting better. But ladies and gentlemen, I never heard back from that person. And you can guess why. Because things have not gotten any better. And they're not gonna get any better for a while. This is not a doom and gloom video, ladies and gentlemen. This is reality. This is what we are living through right now. These are the questions that you have to ask yourselves. And then you have to convince yourself to take action because no one is coming to save you. Other than that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I'm out.